Okay, new episode of AI's Hit. So like every week, I will attempt to go a little bit into AI's capacity for photography. We will ask uh, Chad GPD about a photographer, uh, his bio, and then his uh, differences uh, compared to others uh, for the style, and use uh, Dali and Midjourney for illustrations. So, so yeah, here a little bit of change in the presentation. On the left, you have uh, the pictures from Dali, and on the right, the pictures from uh Uh, from a journey um, so yeah um, AI could you please tell us more about that photographer she was an Austrian photographer known for her portraits still life and commercial photography she was born in Vienna in 1895 and began her career as a photographic assistant in her family's studio in the 1920s she established her own studio and began to work as an independent photographer she quickly gained a reputation for her portraits of actors and other celebrities of the day She also became known for her photographs of art and architecture and for her skill in a still life of photography. She did commercial work for various companies and was also a photographer for magazines such as Vogue and Women's Wear Daily. She was one of the most important commercial photographers in Austria and her photographs appeared regularly in advertising and magazines throughout her career. Her photographic work was also recognized in art circles, and she had also solo exhibitions of her photographs in Austria and other countries. Her works can be found in major collections, such as the Museum of Modern Art, MoMA, in New York, and Albertina in Vienna. Okay, so this time um, there might be some, some inspiration from this photographer. Definitely not sure. Uh, we got a few more information from, from simply the text, the description text. So for those who didn't recognize, um, it's a Trude Fleischmann. Um, and yeah, we, we saw every time the journey was on the right, Dali was on the left. And let's ask, let's ask AI about the, her differences uh, stylistically. Kurt Fleischmann's style is different from others in that she was known for her portraits, particularly of prominent figures in the art and literary worlds, as well as her photographs of Vienna's cultural and intellectual elites. Okay, quite scarce what uh, we get back, but um, and but here we see that again, Dali on the left, Midjourney on the right. Uh, it really focused on, on portraits, uh, on portraiture. I would see more. Um, details of a style coming out from the left pictures, Dali, then on Midjourney. That, that's kind of what uh, we expected in the last weeks, uh, even from the start. Um, Midjourney, um, from the start of me including Midjourney, uh, Midjourney seems to really keep always this kind of style that really corresponds to itself. Um, so yeah, uh, let's listen a little bit more about the style. She also was known for her formal compositions and her attention to detail. Her photographs were characterized by their elegance, precision, and clarity. Definitely seems like ChatGPT has little knowledge or little information it can go grab into to create uh, his descriptions. Um, and even so, um, I used the information to, to prompt uh, Dali on the left, Midjourney on the right. And here, an interesting thing is that Dali um, really comes out with still lives of objects, simple objects, or a flower. And Midjourney sticks to a model, uh, giving the model a pause and, and trying to bring some style. I'm, I'm really not convinced about how the style comes out. Um, I'm not sure it's got to, the AI has sufficient uh, information to actually. Um, do something about it. Uh, it definitely is focusing on black and white, which could correspond to the to the period of time when when Trude Fleischmann was was taking photos. But b beyond that, it's pretty scarce and not not much of a success, uh, in my opinion. L let's hear a little bit more. She was one of the first female photographers to achieve professional success in early 20th century. Here again, um, definitely has. Not that much information because it's actually including, that's kind of incoherent. This is not a, st a stylistic um, description. It's just telling us she achieved professional success in the early 20th century. Uh, but anyhow, uh, the prompting Dali and Midjourney gives us those two images. Again, uh, Dali focuses on kind of still lives. Uh, here was a, was a flower, uh, was two flowers. 
um, and uh, Mid Journey focuses on on the model, kind of a fashion shoot. Uh, and I'm not really sure about again, like every week, go check the real references, either in books or online or in exhibitions, to discover Trude Fleischmann's style. And, and don't hesitate to comment or propose some other prompts uh, for AI. But but nonetheless, um, I think as we have a virtual uh, True Day um, with us, we might ask for the custom creation of the week. Um, could we have a photo of a barefoot dancer with a banana hat next to a jazz duo playing with energy in a style inspired by Trude Fleischmann's? Okay, we here we're grouping Dolly and then Mid Journey, so as we've done in the past uh, weeks. So those two first images from Dali, interesting. We get kind of a non-explicit nude on the left for the banana dancer. Maybe the hat is made of banana leaves. And then the the era is not really respected. I think those jazz men look more like modern jazz men. They do actually have instruments that could relate to jazz. Uh, maybe this weird uh, saxophone with no mouthpiece uh, is kind of, yeah. It doesn't really fit here. And there's, again, Dali sometimes goes to more of a painting style than a photographic style. But uh, yeah, kind of weird. De definitely not uh, Trude's Fleischmann's style. The picture on the right, same thing. Not sure about the hat. and um, Quite deceiving this week. Uh, here are the next two pictures. Kind of boring, maybe it's trying with the, the sense of movement and and the grain in the images but yeah a little bit scarce uh, both on the um, on the chat gpt side and and the image rendering side for dali uh, and now if we look at mid journey okay a little bit of the same symptoms but differently expressed um the images look like kind of stock images from some kind of hollywood uh a photo stock. Um, the, again, Midjourney does a really great job of defining its subjects, uh, creating a more photorealistic image, but to the expense of having its own style almost, which covers a little bit its attempts to to imitate a photographer. So not a success either. Even though the pictures are interesting, they're kind of fun actually. Here's the last two pictures from Midjourney. Um, I definitely see no uh, real link to uh, to Fleischner's style, but we do have the fun of a some kind of um, set photography for Hollywood uh, movies uh, in the kind of right period. But, anyways, don't hesitate to post comments, propose other prompts, and others maybe photographers that we can uh, explore with the help of AI. And yeah, see you next week. 